The Associated Press named Buena Vista High School the back-to-back state football champions of 1966 and 1967 in Class B under head coach Al Quick. When Joe Barr uh, hired uh, Al Quick, he says, I want you to b uh, make men or build men and uh, win football games. He had a saying, you guys want to be champs or chumps. The only difference is you. The Knights were a perfect 9-0 in 1966 and outscored its opponents 403-37, to racking up six shutouts along the way. The Knights topped Bad Axe 70 to nothing. And we wanted to play Bad Axe. Bad Axe was very successful. They had a long winning streak. They had a great coach in Claude Marsh. Uh, so we wanted to play them. We finally worked out a game. Well, Claude left. Uh, our kids were excited, uh, even down, you know, down uh, JVs, uh, excited uh, that we're going to play them. And I think they were just, uh, they had a down year, and our kids were just excited. And uh, we, we, I couldn't turn them off. Uh, I, I had a boy one time run to the sidelines and, and go out of bounds. He runs to the sidelines and turns upfield and goes 65 yards for a touchdown. That wasn't supposed to happen. Not my intention to run it up on anybody. I've had it run up on me. The sports paper, sports writers, they had a little thing going where they picked the winners. Yep. Nate said that game was going to be a toss up. And we won 70 to nothing. That's when I thought we were going to be really good. St. Andrews 32 to 6. Lansing Waverly 33 to nothing. Bridgeport 31 to nothing. Alpena 32 to 6. Mount Pleasant 26 to 25, Arthur Hill Tech 73 to nothing, Standy Sterling 66 to nothing. Um, we had a big snowstorm. They wanted to cancel the game, as I recall, and uh, coach called us all in and said, "What do you guys want to do?" Coach doesn't want the other coach doesn't want to play us, and we said, "No, we want to play." And I had always, when I watched pro football and they played in the snow, for me that was fun. So I was ready for that. We got there and they had the lines cleared off. Uh, but the field was basically covered with snow, and I had a good day there. I scored a few touchdowns, and we, I think we beat them 66 to nothing. It was just a ball. I mean, I just had more fun than I've ever had playing football. I really I, couldn't understand their rationale. They, they were going to give us a game, but Coach made us understand that, well, we were out to do something special, and it would look better for, for us as far as the public perception if we played that game and if we dominated that team. I was cognizant of that, but again, I just don't do snow. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just not my thing. And Tawas area, 40 to nothing. Mike Benkert, a senior tackle, was the team's MVP. One year later, the Knights won its second consecutive Class B title by outscoring opponents 234 to 32. Buena Vista knocked off Lakeville, 39 to nothing. St. Andrews, 38 to nothing. Mount Pleasant, 13 to seven. Bridgeport, 54 to 12. Banger John Glenn, six to nothing. I think of that John Glenn game, it was 6 0. Yeah, and uh, I don't know what Quick said just before the, that, that touchdown took place, but I know that the guys probably won't forget it, you know. I mean, this is it, guys. This is your chance. And they came through. And we get down right to the end, and you, you think we'd be worried about this and that, and the, a lot of the guys were in the huddle saying, and Coach is going to kick our butt on Monday. We're going to be doing power X's, this and that. And the guy, come on, we got to get together and win this game. So. I can remember the uh, John Glenn game, which was probably the toughest game I ever played in. I remember looking over to my left, because I was a defensive end, Art with the tackle. And Art was just throwing people around. And they were, they were really hitting hard that game. But I, I got some courage just from watching Arthur and the way he played because he was fearless. Cadillac 38 to 6, Douglas MacArthur 24 to nothing, and Flint Carmen 22 to 7. Buena Vista finished the season 8 and 0, winning 17 consecutive games over two seasons and 20 over three seasons. For the two undefeated seasons, the Knights outscored its opponents 637 to 69 averaging 37.4 points per game while allowing just 4.0 points per game during that span. During the 1967 season, BV punted the football just two times all season. In 67, Art Bergman, an all-state tackle, was voted team MVP. And we had Don Sheeswald as a line coach and our linemen were, had, knew all the techniques. They could handle bigger people It was and it was teamwork. We had a lot of cross blocking with ends and tackles and it was just the way that as a unit they performed so well. 
Assistant coaches for the Knights were Don Cheeswald, Bob Quinn, and Ralph Shaberg. Quick would go on to coach Midland Dow to a Class A state championship. We really were a team, and we had some people that maybe made all state, but I don't think anybody stood out so far above each other. It was the team. This is, this is truly an honor for all of us that were on the team and really for everyone that was at the school at that time. It it's, makes everyone from Vietnam Vista proud. Football is, is, is quite a game that I even compared to life. And uh, you put forth the effort, it pays off.